Well, hello, crafty friends. Why buy another die when you can use a hand punch to make an overlay for a slimline card? We all have plenty of punches. There's just a little of my collection. But first, we're going to start with a slimline card base. And what we're going to do is punch circles into the overlay so we can use some really cute stamping, do some really cute stamping. And here is the circle punch we'll use, but I have an oval one, I have that scalloped one. I don't even know where I got them at this point. I've had them so long, but I decided to, do, to use them instead of buying yet another die. So we're gonna start by making the base card and I really hope you check out the video I made on the card measurements, which is seven by eight, and then you just score it right down the middle at three and a half, which is what I just did. And that's simple enough, but I think you'll also enjoy the video. So you can also use a simple T-square for what we're doing today. I think I got mine at Hobby Lobby in the like drafting department over by the art section. It was not very expensive, probably less than $3. But we're going to start with a 8x3 overlay basically and then score well a draw every two inches we're going to make dotted lines because that's where we'll be punching right down the middle of those or lining up the middle of our punch with those dotted lines and also we're going to stamp with or I'm going to stamp with this Catherine Pooler new release it's these dogs and cats it's just so fun they're so cute and this is the the pattern cardstock that I've picked and it just gives about a quarter of an inch all the way around. So we're going to start by showing you an example. And you said, uh, remember I said that the, the circles fit right in the middle? Oh yeah, that's another drawer of shame. Yes, I do have lots of punches. So using my T-square or T-ruler, I'm just drawing every two inches on that three by eight card front. And this will be the side that nobody sees. It's the back side. And just line up that pencil line up that pencil line in the center of that punch and give it a squeeze and you're going to have about a half inch on each side it just works out don't ask me how and then it will fit perfectly on that card front. So now we're going to do it with the pattern paper that I've chosen. And this is the wrong side. Remember, no one is going to see these little lines. Every two inches. Just make a mark. So the inspiration for this card with the dogs is my sister and she has five beautiful grown children. They each have a dog and she and her husband also have two dogs. What's wonderful is that all seven of these dogs, okay there might be eight, I lost track, they're all rescue dogs 
they are so smart and talented and healthy and give so much life to that family. Um, yeah, that's just part of who they are. And so when I saw the stamp set, I just knew that it would be perfect for what I wanted to do today. And this will be a birthday card because somebody is always having a birthday in that family. see so I've just lined up the center that center line in the middle of that circle and given it a punch and there you go and just to prove it it measures perfectly with the template that we just made or the example that uh, I wanted to show you So let's get to stamping. I've put that card base in my misty, and I very lightly drew the circles so that I can place the little dog heads in those circles. Just going to place them at a fun angle. Just measure it up. I'll be using my Tombow markers because they blend really well on this is Bristol Smooth cardstock. And also that Versafine Black, it doesn't smear, so. Just good, a good recipe for success. Put on some light music and let's get to coloring.
So now I'm just doing the edges of this card. Finishing up with this beautiful color. I promise you this color in some form was already all over my house. In the kitchen, front room. I just love this color. So tell me, do you mail your cards? Are you mailing your cards? Because there is nothing like receiving a beautiful handmade card in the mail, which is something I've been doing for so many years. I don't just keep them to collect them like some of my supply stash. I actually put uh, cards in the mail almost every week. And it is a joy of mine to just think about the receiver. Even if it's just a little note, didn't even have to be a birthday card, just a thinking of you card. So I challenge you, get something in the mail. Okay, I put some little uh, black marker on the eyes and the nose to help the dog's personality pop. And I'm adding some sentiments. This is from Gerda Steiner's uh, collection. She just has the, the best fonts and the best sayings for so many occasions. Just going to trim up the edges on these little sentiment stickers that I uh, popped up with some foam tape. And I did see that that stamp collection had quite a few, quite a few accessories that I could add to these, uh, the heads of these dogs. First, I'm going to add some Nouveau drops, though. I hope you like this video. I hope you mail some cards, and I hope you subscribe. Thank you.